we've got a great example for you on how the EAD ERP metric behaves. So you can guesstimate this, you can approximate this. Back in college, I learned a lot of formulas, how to apply those formulas to situations, but we need to be able to think about this non-formulaically because you're not going to be filling in the values for those metric components and deriving the values on your own. I don't know anybody who does that. I really don't. But you should be able to look at this topology and say, I know what EADGRP will choose. Let's explore that together. And specifically, what are we choosing? Which pathway would be used? Is R1 going to take the, the top pathway or the bottom pathway? The choice is yours. Well, it's not really yours. It's EADGRP's. We need to be able to figure this out on our own. So I want you looking at each of these links. Each of these links. What does your gut tell you? What does your intuition tell you? Well, hopefully your intuition is going to alert you to a really serious numeric issue on screen, and that is this over here, 10 megabits per second. Well, that's really the weakest link, isn't it? But you could say, well, wait a minute, it's fewer hops. It doesn't look that bad. Well, I want you to think this way. Bandwidth is much more impactful to the EIGRP metric. Bandwidth is more of a tie break. Now, I said that the MTU is the tie break, but the one that is a tie break numerically, that just does minor shifts in either direction, that's the delay. So I don't really want you focused on the delay at all. So I'm going to tell you that the top pathway would be chosen. Why? Because this weakest link bandwidth is far worse than the weakest link bandwidth on the bottom pathway, which is 50 megabits per second. And that will be the deciding factor. Don't believe me? Let's back up the example with some math. The top pathway, R1, R2, R3, R4, has a minimum bandwidth of 10 megs. And it has delay of about, well, you can see, what works out to about 10,000. So if we do the math here, and we're not going to do the math together, but you can see that the top pathway has a metric of about 2.8 million. And notice how much larger of impact it is, the bandwidth component. The bandwidth component is a much larger impact to this overall value. Okay. If we were to look at the bottom pathway, instead of a metric of 2.8, it has a metric of 1.8. Was it 2.8 or 2.6? Yeah, it was 2.8. So this is the top pathway. Look at the bottom bullet point. Bottom pathway, 1.8. So that's a pretty big deal. That's a pretty big deal. It has a far smaller metric. And as a result, it is the preferred metric. Remember that lower is better here with metrics. Sometimes we lose sight of that. Sometimes we think higher numbers are good. But it's a metric. It's a cost, if you will. So that being said, think about it this way. Bandwidth is more impactful than delay. And that will be my deciding factor for EADGRP path selection. I have, in fact, never seen that not be the case in the wild. Your mileage may vary, but now you have a deeper understanding of the behavior of this mathematical operation that we see with the EIGRP metric.